Good evening. I would like to thank you all for coming tonight and supporting us during this celebration. As I steered my way through the peaks and valleys of my early education, I never, I never really could comprehend or believe that I would be up here this evening. To tell you the truth, I thought that the world would end before I even got to high school. <laughs> In a way, that gave me some relief because I realized that I wouldn't have to take Algebra 2 or Geometry. <laughs> but as the years went on, the world stayed where it was. I finally entered high school, took Algebra 2 and Geometry, and passed them, and ascended the stage for my high school graduation. As I look back on my life so far, it is exciting and encouraging to see how God has molded me, squeezed me, and then me, all in the process of refining me for the work he would have me do. Among other means, God has used several missions trips to Peru and Mexico to grow my compassion and love. He used my family's adoption of two children to build my patience and selflessness. And he used my struggles and accomplishments on the basketball court to break me down, humble me, and increase my reliance on him. Because of Christ's faithfulness and love, I have endured trials and hardships and have obtained blessings and peace. Philippians 1.6 says, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. That promise is what gives me confidence to follow him. That promise is what gives me hope. By God's grace, my life has been filled with people who aren't ashamed of the gospel of Christ. With God's hand supporting them, my parents have worked to lay a biblical and loving foundation for me at home. They sought out a biblically grounded Christian school and wisely put their faith in Cornerstone and its faculty and staff. Godly pastors and teachers have helped me to build upon that foundation, and I thank God for them every day. At school and at church, I have made several friendships that caused me to be real with my faith and encouraged me to seek Christ more fervently. No matter what trials I face in the coming years, I will always look back at these examples of unabashed Christ followers for encouragement and perseverance. As I and my classmates go on from being big fish in a small pond to being small fish in a giant ocean, it can be too easy to forget Christ and His promises. My prayer for us as Cornerstone's 2014 high school graduating class is fourfold. That we will run the race God has set for us with focus. Our eyes constantly set on Christ's word, not straight to the left or to the right. With drive, never giving up on Christ and using his words as fuel. With vision, seeing our ultimate goal as reaching the entire world for Christ and spreading his love to the ends of the earth. And throughout this long race ahead of us, I pray that we will, as Romans 1.16 says, not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Thank you.